In this video, I'm going to show the application of a maximum release rule. Right now, the model set up in flow through where um, all of the inflow that's coming into the reservoir is actually passed through the reservoir. So to show a maximum release rule, I'm going to first put the maximum release rule in the uh, flood zone and I'm going to put it in the conservation zone and we'll look at the behavior of the rest and model with uh, um, the rule in each one of these zones. So first let's add a rule to the flood zone and we're going to call it a max one fifty. We're going to have it applied to the entire reservoir and it's going to be a simple release function. We're going to make it just a function of date. It's going to be a maximum release rule and it's just going to be 150 throughout the entire year. Okay, and then we're going to apply it and hit OK and then we're going to start our, our uh, simulation with the pool being in the flood zone and in this model I have the top of conservation at elevation 75 so the um, starting at 77 means that it's going to be starting in the flood pool so we're going to save that alternative and then we can go ahead and run it close that and when we plot this we can see what's happening. Now normally ResSim, when it's in the flood zone, ResSim is going to release everything that it possibly can up to the release capacity to take it back down to the top of conservation zone. However, we have an inflow. By the way, the inflow is this dark black line. This inflow is 500 CFS, but we're limiting the release that we can make in the flood zone to 150 CFS. So we can't even pass the outflow that we have coming in and that's why you see a rising pool elevation. Now if we were to use the same look back conditions but we remove this rule and apply it and then rerun it we can go ahead and plot and you can see that you get a much different result and here it only takes um, maybe half a day for it to go from 77 to 75 then it'll reach the top of conservation zone and it'll just hold uh, the top of conservation which again is elevation 75 for the entire simulation now if we started in the conservation zone so I'm going to go and uh, edit my alternative so we're no longer going to be starting above 75 now we're going to start below 75 and then we can compute it now you can see that ResSim uh, wants to hold on to all of the inflow that it possibly can. There are no requirements for ResSim to make a release, so basically it just releases zero after the look back starts. Um, and then once it returns to the top of conservation, then uh, the release uh, is, is set to match inflow just to hold it at the top of conservation. Now, if we were to go in and Now we already have our maximum of 150 made so if we go hit OK and then we add rule to all zones actually let me remove it from the flood control zone in this case so I just want it in the conservation zone and we're still going to be starting in the conservation zone and then we compute it you'll notice that we actually don't see any difference in the result well, actually, I guess there is a very slight difference in the result in one uh, time step. Sometimes you get a little instability as it's hitting the, the boundary. But for the most part, this is the, a very similar result to what we've seen before. Um, 
again, ResSim wants to hold on to as much as it possibly can. So ResSim looks at the rule set and says that if you have a hundred and um, uh, I'm sorry, if you have a maximum of 150 CFS release, well, it just wants to release zero, so that's not going to violate the maximum of 150 CFS release. So it'll just take it down to, to zero. Um, so that's basically a very simple explanation of uh, looking at just one maximum release rule. I'll be making additional videos that show um, the uh, relationship when you have a combination of minimum and maximum rules or when you have multiple minimums and multiple maximums. Uh, feel free to subscribe to um, the YouTube channel so that way you'll get updates on, on when a new video is out and thanks for watching this video.